Hi, I'm Crypto Lou and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through a beginner's guide on how to create an altcoin paper wallet for the likes of Dash, Litecoin, Ethereum and Monero. I've actually already created a video for Bitcoin paper wallet, so if you're interested then please take a look through the series of my videos and I'll also put it in the top right hand corner now. And if you like this video today then please give me a thumbs up as it really helps me to understand what kind of content you like and enjoy. So if you're currently storing different types of altcoins, the safest way to do so is by using either a hardware wallet such as the Ledger Nano S or Trezor, or by using an offline paper wallet, especially if you're kind of dealing with larger volumes of coins and it's safer and it's actually kept away from hackers in this way as well. So the site that you need to go on to, to go through and create your paper wallet for your altcoins is walletgenerator.net and I'll put a link in the summary below. So as you can see, there's lots of different types of supported currencies on the walletgenerator.net. It has the likes of Dogecoin, Litecoin and Dash in here. They also support Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. Now the likes of Ethereum and Monero, you actually use a slightly different process. I'll be taking you through that shortly, but what I'll do is I'll take you through the walletgenerator.net now. So one of the most important things to note is you don't actually create or generate your paper wallet via the site as it actually can make you vulnerable to people accessing your private keys. So the first thing you need to do is you need to click onto the link here that is GitHub. And once you've done that, it will download a zip file and then what you would have to do is unzip that onto your computer. Then you'll need to open up the index.html file. Now it's really important that once you've downloaded it, you want to actually open this up in Chrome, um, IE or Internet Explorer or Safari don't have the same supported functionality. So Chrome is the kind of required um, browser that you need to use at this section. And once you do open it up, please ensure that you are not connected to the internet. So if you have a wired connection, please ensure that that is unplugged and also turn off any Wi-Fi connections from here as well so that you are completely offline. If you do have some problems with opening up that index.html file, what you need to do is you need to simply click that file and drag it into your Chrome browser. Then what you need to do is simply keep hovering your mouse around the screen until the number here reduces. You can also enter in uh, further more characters if you wish to do so, just to give it a little bit more randomness and keep going until that it goes down to zero. So now you have your paper wallet. So you have this share section. So this is your public address. So with regards to the public address, this is the address that you will send any coins to. You then have the secret section, which is your private key. Now your private keys are really important that you never lose them as you'll never be able to access your coins again. You need to ensure that you keep this somewhere safe and you keep this to yourself and never share this with anybody else. And then from this screen, what you can do is you can then print out um, your keys and you could also go through and if you go through to paper wallet, it will then give you just sort of a little bit more design options. So what you could then do is print this off and then you can keep that in your wallet or preferably keep that in a safe locked away somewhere so that no one can ever access your private keys in here. Now something else to mention, if you are printing this to a printer, please ensure that your printer is also not connected to Wi-Fi or connected to the internet either. Now something else just to be aware of in terms of printing out items is that if you are looking to eventually sort of get rid of your printer, please make sure that this is destroyed. Um, the reason being is it actually has an image file of everything you've downloaded onto there, which can be readable. So if you are particularly paranoid, please ensure that if you are getting rid of your printer, that that is completely destroyed. So that was pretty simple. That's the way that you go through and create um, the likes of your Dash paper wallet, your Bitcoin paper wallet, Litecoin, etc. Now Ethereum is slightly different, so what I'm going to do is take you through how to do your Ethereum wallet now. So to create an Ethereum paper wallet, what you need to do is go on to www.myetherwallet.com. Now I've actually created a full tutorial and review of my Ether wallet, and what I'll do is I'll put it in the top right hand corner now. So if you do want to take a look at that, then please feel free to do so. So to create your paper wallet, first thing you need to do is create a new wallet. So what you will do at this stage is simply enter in a password and then click on to create new wallet. Then what you need to do is download your key store file. You basically just needed to unlock your wallet via My Ether Wallet, and then click on to I understand. You're now provided with your private key. So what you need to do with your private key, again, is ensure that you keep that somewhere safe. Keep it in a safe, keep it somewhere absolutely private and don't share that with anybody else. Then what you can do is you can go through and you can print your paper wallet. 
So again, you have a nicer design option. So you have your address where you can send your Ethereum to, and then you have your private key in here as well. Now, with regards to your private key, as they say here, do not lose it. It cannot be recovered if you lose it. Do not share it. Your funds will be stolen if you use this file on a malicious slash phishing site and make a backup. Um, secure it like the millions of dollars it may be worth one day. So you need to ensure that you really are saving that private key and you're not sharing that with anybody else. If you're then looking to store your Monero offline on a paper wallet, you need to go to moneroaddress.org. So on here you have an offline wallet generator and what you can do is you can select from Monero or Aeon in terms of the type of paper wallets that you can create from here. First of all, what you need to do is ensure that you are going through and getting the most up-to-date versions of the page. So what you're going to do is click on to here. Then if we click on to Monero Wallet Generator, and what we need to do here is we need to download this file. So we're going to download the zip file. Once you've downloaded that file and opened up that zip file, what you then we um, presented with is three different lines. The one that you actually need to open up is monero-wallet-generator.html. When you go through and open this up, please ensure that you are no longer connected to the internet. So turn off your Wi-Fi, unplug any kind of internet connection so you are taken completely offline and you are secure and away from anyone being able to view your private keys at this stage. Now, if you do have some problems with opening up that HTML file, what you can do is you can click it and drag it into your browser. Then you'll be opening up that HTML file and what you now need to do is click on to generate wallet. And it asks me if I'm sure the wallet can not be recovered once a wallet is new wallet is generated and I click on to OK. So that's now created that public address down the bottom here as you can see. If I then click on to generate wallet again, click on to OK, it will then change that um, wallet address for me. So your public address is where you're going to be sending your Monero coins to. So that is a public address. You then have a mnemonic seed. So in here you need to ensure that you actually have this and you keep it secure. Um, please don't give it to anyone else. It will help you to uh, recreate your private keys. You then have your private keys in here as well. So you have your spend key and you have your view key. So you will need both of these for when you are going through and you are looking to spend. So please ensure that you do print this off. And when you print it off, again, you need to ensure that your Wi-Fi is turned off on your computer and it's no longer connected to the internet at all. Print this off and then what you need to do is ensure that you obviously keep this somewhere safe lock it away in a safe or keep it in your wallet wherever you choose to keep that. Now that was a very brief overview of how to store your altcoins offline with use of paper wallets and I hope that you found this useful today and if you did then please give me a like. If you have any questions with regards to this beginner's guide today then please feel free to put them below and if you'd like to see more tips, reviews and tutorials then please hit subscribe. Thanks and I'll see you soon.